Hi, please turn to page 2 of your curve sketching note. We are going to start sketching the quadratic curve now. Before we begin, I would like you to remember the step which is X, Y, S, T. We will be doing our curve sketching using these four acronyms, X, Y, S, T. What do they represent? Meaning, it's basically the X-intercept, the Y-intercept, the line of symmetry, as well as the turning point. With these four steps in place, we will be able to do our curve sketching. But more importantly, we must always start off with a general shape in mind, what is expected of us. Alright? So, you can read the steps yourself, but I'm going to use the very first example to do my curve sketching on page 2. First thing, we are told to sketch y is equal to x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 4. First and foremost, you must be able to know that this will allow us to have a u-shape because we have an x-square term. Next, step number 1. X, Y of the X, Y, S, T. The X intercepts, meaning when Y is equal to zero, you are supposed to find the two values. And in this case, with the use of the zero product rule, you will get X is equal to negative one or four. Next, the Y intercept, meaning x is equal to 0. Substitute x is equal to 0 inside the expression. You will be able to get y is equal to 1 multiplied by negative 4. In this case, we will get a negative 4. Now, read through what you have just now for step number 3. Take the For us to draw the line of symmetry, you have to take the average of your X intercept from step 1 and this is what I'm going to do right now so for me to draw the line of symmetry X is equal to the average of our X coordinates so in this case X is equal to 3 divided by 2 1.5 and this is our line of symmetry Last but not least, the turning point. In this case, because we have a U-shape, it's very obvious our turning point must be a minimum point. And what are the coordinates of the minimum point? Very simple. What I need to do now, the x-intercept will definitely be the one that you have for the line of symmetry. Now, substitute 1.5 in the original expression. And I'm going to do that using my calculator. 1.5 plus 1 will give us 2.5. Multiply by 1.5 minus 4. Multiply by negative 2.5. So in this case, we have a negative 6.25. With all these steps in place, we are ready to do our curve sketching for the very first example. Please note that it must be drawn to scale, it must be proportional, so that it does not look out of shape. First thing, step number one, please draw the x-intercept. I'm going to label it now. Of course, you can use your ruler, I'm just using estimation. I have my negative one, as well as my positive four as my x-intercept. Next, our y-intercept was negative 4. So please put a cross for each of the intercept along the x as well as the y-intercept. We have our line, one x is equal to 1.5 as our line of symmetry. For the line of symmetry, please make sure you make use of the dotted line. This is 1, 2, and 3. 1.5 will be here. And take note, your turning point will lie on this line of symmetry. In this case, we have negative 
So in this case, when you have indicated your minimum point, please write down the coordinates of that minimum point here as well. Now, notice we have four crosses. Please make sure you join all the four crosses that you have marked out with a smooth curve. If it's a little bit skew, please do not hesitate to just erase off. And do it again. And there you have it. Our curve for y is equal to x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 4 is done. Please follow the same approach and do example 2 yourself. Thank you.